yes, my good friend, wherever you are, it's already in the morning here in Southeast Asia. I know you are preparing to go to bed or you are already on bed. But this episode, this episode of exclusives are meant for you either to sleep with or as you're waking up as a good news. Yes, so every information I have here, it's all about Chelsea. Exclusives for you that is watching me right now. Salon's Block, I welcome you to today's edition. It's official. Casado is on the training pitch. Moidrick was on the training pitch. And tomorrow's game, Saturday, Saturday's game, all are in line to partake or to participate. Look, don't be deceived by anybody. Sometimes you hear news from some sources that you go to verify and just realize that those news are not true. I will only dis discuss with you here, I will disclose to you only exclusives with facts, okay? All right, let's get going. Our cameras, our, our insiders gave us information about everything that transpired on the training pitch. Yes, Thursday training. And as you can see, all the pictures will soon be rolling on your screen. All the pictures will be rolling on your screen very soon. Before then, let's start with Chelsea HQ says, Chelsea want to give Mauricio Pochettino a world-class striker with, with Victor Osimhen considered the favorite ahead of Santiago Jimenez, Ewan Ferguson, and Ivan Toni. So, like I said to you yesterday, Ivan Toni is the main target, the world-class target, Ivan, uh, Victor Osimhen. Victor Osimhen. The truth is Ivan Toni is available. He is already on his goal-scoring boots. Yeah, he's already scoring goals. When he came in his first game he played for Brentford B team, he scored a goal. But Chelsea's main target right now as we speak is who? Victor Osimhen. That is a world-class player. Chelsea wants to offer Pochettino. As we speak, as we speak, the arrangements are, you know, things are working. <laughs> things are working. All right? Things are working in our favor. The hard work continued at Cobham on Thursday as the Chelsea players were put through their paces ahead of the weekend. Look, today, Friday, the gaffer, the coach, will be having a press, you know, brief, press conference, and every detail will come out. That is why I'm bringing you this so early because. My next video might be mixed, you know, my daily briefing, I delayed that a little so that I'll give you this as exclusive first. Then my next episode will be mixed of other clubs. The third and the final one will be all about Chelsea and what the gaffer, what our coach has said at the press conference towards, again, or, uh, towards tomorrow's game. You know, today is Friday, so the coach will have to speak to the press regarding his plan for tomorrow's game. So we'll be bringing that for you later in the day. But right now, the hard work continued at Cobham on Thursday as the Chelsea players were put through their paces ahead of the weekend game. Mauricio Pochettino worked his players hard at the Surrey training base with Saturday's trip to Burnley fast approaching. Yeah, Chelsea head into the game off the back of victories over Brighton and Fulham in the Carabao Cup and the Premier League respectively. And we'll hope for another three points this weekend before we pause for the international break. Exactly. Before going for the international break next week, we are hoping that we'll get the three points and put that in our pocket. <laughs> you, <laughs> that have to be in our pocket before we don't do what, go on international break. And going on international break, I just pray and hope that our players will not come back again with knocks and injuries like Casado did. And my good, my goodness. There was a welcome sight for Chelsea fans as Rhys James returned to the grass, yes, as he continues his recovery from injury, while the likes of Thiago Silva, Raheem Sterling, and Levi Cole were all involved. Yes. So Rhys James, you can, as you can see the picture there, is back training on the grass. Our Capito, original Capito, is back on the field training. You can see the picture there rolling there. Now, take a look at the best images from today's session at Cobham below. And stay tuned for more behind the scenes footage on the Chelsea training very soon. Yeah, yeah. Capito is on the grass training with a smile. 
You can also see the Kopama having a discussion with the coach. Yeah. And you can see the goalkeeper, Sanchez, doing some dives and making some good saves there. Raheem Sterling going through some paces. Casado there. Broja. Yeah, you, could, you see a lot, a lot, a lot of players are working out. They are working out. They are going through their paces on the pitch. Enjoy the picture as it lasts. <laughs> Enjoy the picture as it lasts. Okay, Nottingham Forest manager Steve Cooper clears the air on Andra Santos. Andra Santos' lack of game time. Andra Santos is a player we loan to Nottingham Forest. And throughout the week, there's been news that since he went to Nottingham, or since they took him on loan to Nottingham, he has not touched a ball. And the purpose of sending him to loan to Nottingham was for him to play in the Premier League, to get the experience of the Premier League, to gain experience from the Premier League and develop. But seven games down the lane, he has not touched a ball. So questions were being asked. Whether we should withdraw him back in January and what next? And if we are to withdraw him, there's a penalty that Nottingham Forest will have to pay to set to, to Chelsea. Yeah. They have, to, they have to pay a penalty. So now the coach of Nottingham Forest has come up to clarify the situation on ground. And let me read for you. He said, he's been good. He's obviously a really good young player. I had a really good chat with Chelsea about him this week. I didn't realize some stuff had been written about him. You see? So he didn't know the, the, the contract details. He didn't know the contract details. Are you getting it? And so it's obvious he can treat him like any other player. He see him like any other player because he doesn't know the contract details. And so you cannot blame him. He is only doing his job. Now listen, that there's a lot of new players here and we are really trying to get the balance right in integrating all the players at the right time. He is expected to win games. And so he needs to find ways of integrating all those players into the squad. And there are a lot of new players, a lot at Nottingham. While trying to perform as best we can in every single game to get a result we want, you get it? He must integrate all these players and still get results. New players, new team, and he must still get results. A lot is expected of him. So for him now, how to balance the squad is what he's working on. He's not looking at these players as favorite. No, he's only trying to integrate all stage by stage, one by one. And at the same time, get a good result for Nottingham Forest. Otherwise, if he's, beginning, if he's losing games, the fans, the owners of Nottingham Forest will also be on him. So it is him now have to balance, see a way to integrate all the new players into his squad. And that is what he is doing. He said that's a, pro, that's a real process. To integrate all the players into the squad is a real process. With young players, Sometimes it can take longer than others to settle in. I'm not saying he's not. It's just circumstantial at the moment of at, at the moment in some of the games. So he tried to explain himself. Working with young players is not easy. We all we know that. And getting your result that you need week in, week out as a coach is also very important. You must get a result for the fans, you must get a result for the owners. They, they don't give you that chance or that time of, oh, play six games, six, seven games, get your team ready before you start winning. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. On the way go, the, the fans expect you to start winning. The owners expect you to start winning. And so you as a coach, you, you have a lot of new players at your disposal. What will you do? This is what is happening right now. This, so he tried to explain it. All right, we move on. Leslie Ogochuku, the French League, is a good league. But when I came on against Liverpool, Luton, and when I started against Bournemouth, it's different. The Premier League is a different intensity. You have to run. <laughs> Don't have time to walk. Always be active. It's up and down the pitch. The intensity is hard. This is what Leslie Oguchu has been saying about the league. You know, he is coming from the French League, League One. And the experiences he has, you know, accumulated so far in the Premier League, he can attest to the fact that the Premier League is hard to play. It's not easy. All right, moving on. Last but not the least, before I will leave you and come back with my daily briefing. 
Chelsea are preparing to sit down with Gallagher to discuss what is best for all parties as he heads towards the final 18 months of his existing deal. Chelsea are happy with his form. So, Connor has about 18 months to go for his contract to expire, the current contract to expire. Then what were you waiting for all these whiles? Okay, because we wanted to sell him in the, in the summer window. My goodness, Chelsea, please, get this deal done. Get, it, get him to sign a new six years quickly. Yeah, get him to sign a new six years quickly. We can't do that, please. Whatever it will take for him to be convinced. I, he spoke, is it yesterday or the day before yesterday, talking about his passion for the badge, his passion for Chelsea, his love for the club. He's an academy player. And the game he played against Fulham can, can attest to the fact that he's committed. And look, Gallagher, that game he played against Fulham, if he can play that day in, day out, week in, week out, you'll be a legend in a few months to come in, or in a few years. What you achieve, you'll be amazed by yourself. The game you play against Fulham, when we watch the clip, you dominated the midfield. Your passes, your work rate, your runs, your runs in between the lines, the spaces you covered on the pitch, it has been said that water covers 75% of the earth's surface and Gallagher covers the rest of the 25. I'll see you when you see me. Shalom and peace.